What's going on all you Minties? This is the Uncanny Omar from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And today I'm going to go over the Collected Editions in the December solicitations from DC Comics. So let's get started. And welcome back everybody. So today we are going to be looking at the DC solicits for December. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you all there is not a lot of books. As a matter of fact, there are only nine books in this solicitation. Um, now that's not something to start worrying about because I know that people seem to think, oh man, they're only releasing nine books. This is the end of DC. This is the end of the collected editions. I really do have high hopes that they are restructuring every one of their departments and hopefully we will see a lot more next solicits but yeah nine i believe since i've been doing this nine collected editions is the least amount that i've seen at a dc solicitation uh, but it gives me hope because there is a book in here that wasn't even in the catalog didn't make it to the catalog so they're adding things so, now, um, as always, there might be some delays, hopefully no cancellations. Um, I'm going to go over the content and, of course, the price of the books. And down here is where I usually put the content and release date. And always, the dates are always subject to change. So, let's go ahead and start. Um, smash that like button, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. You all know what to do. I hope, I hope. Spread the word. Uh, the first book we're going to be talking about is the Milestone Compendium. So this is volume two. So you have the work in here of Dwayne McDuffie, Robert Washington III, Louis Simonson joins, Chris Cross, Dennis Cohen, John Paul Leon, and the Bright. So in this particular collection, you have Blood Syndicate 13 through 23, Hardware 13 through 21, Icon 11 through 21, Shadow Cabinet 1 through 4, Static 9 through 20, Superboy 6 through 7, Superman, the Man of Steel 35 through 36, Steel 6 through 7, and Worlds Collide number one. Why did I get so excited? Because this is the first time we've ever had the Worlds Collide event all in one collected edition. This book has 1,320 pages, comes out on January 31st of 2023, retailing for $59.99. It is a compendium, so it is soft cover. Black Adam! That's The Rock, right? That obviously looks like The Rock. The Justice Society Case Files. So this is a 192 uh, pages trade paperback. It's got the works in here of Brian Miller, Scott Eaton, uh, Travis Mercer, Jesus Merino, just to name a few of the creators. $19.99 collecting the Justice Society Files, Hawkman 1, uh, Black Adam Justice Society Files, Cyclone, and Adam Smasher, as well as Dr. Fate number 1. So just in time for the movie but i thought the movie was coming out this year well anyway this one's coming out january 24th batman beyond neo year so this is by jackson lansing it's the latest series and colin kelly has artwork by max dunbar who provides the cover the book is 19 dollars 99 and it's on sale on january 31st and this one if i'm not mistaken I believe it's just the first or the six issue miniseries. So that is Batman Beyond Neo Year. Batman Urban Legends Volume 4. So collecting more issues of that webcomic that they're releasing. And that cover right there is by the phenomenal Jim Chung. But in here you have the work of Rom V, uh, Chet Grayson, Ryan Caddy, and Joey Esposito, as well as artwork in here by Serg Acuna and uh, Aris Dane, just to name a few of the creators behind all of this. This one goes on sale on the 17th of January, $24.99, 296 pages. Aquaman Andromeda. So this is a DC black label, so it's one of those magazine-sized books, collecting all three issues of that series. But what has me excited is both Ram V and Christian Ward. I love both of those creators. Over the last couple of years, I've grown to love Christian's artwork and I've learned to really appreciate and respect Ram V's um, work in, in, in comics. But I'm trying to think of, there was one book that I thought, oh, I had high expectations because it's got Ram V's name on it. What was it? Could have been the Venom book maybe. 
maybe it was something else. But anyway, this one is $29.99. It is a hardcover. Uh, has 168 pages and comes out on February 21st. Aquaman. Hey, that's two Aquaman books. Two out of the nine slots. Uh, 80 Years of the King of the Seas, the deluxe edition. Uh, 440 pages. It is a hardcover. $29.99. And it has just work in here from Paul Cooperberg, Peter David, Jeff Johns, Paul Norris, Ramona Freyden, and Jim Calfiori. I think that's how you pronounce the gentleman's name. Jim Calafiori. Calafiori. Oh my goodness. I've been reading that name for decades now covered there by Jim Lee and Scott Williams but they've been doing these deluxe editions celebrating the 80 years of Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman and now Aquaman 80 years my goodness uh, Monkey Prince volume one no idea what this is enter the monkey enter okay it is written by Jean Yuen Yang and it's got Bernard Chang on art both creators whose work I really enjoy and it, it has the first six issues of Monkey Prince. I don't know if that's an ongoing series. And a story from the DC Festival of Heroes, the Asian Superhero Celebration, on sale the 3rd of January. And last, but certainly not least, this is the book I was talking about that came as a surprise, Absolute Batman Three Jokers. So, wow. First of all, okay, so this book has 248 pages. It retails for $100. It's only three issues. I don't remember the... the, the they must have had all kinds of extras in here. Um, but this is one that I remember when I did a review with the Astonishing Melanie. I really hope one day we get an absolute Three Jokers because the dialogue boxes would benefit from that because they were so small. But... $100, 248 pages, collecting the three-issue miniseries, and I assume a bunch of extras, because that standard size hardcover and trade paperback, because I forgot it also came out in trade, but so it's standard size hardcover and trade, was only 160 pages. So you're looking at material here. I mean, this is 248 pages, it's almost 100 more pages. So I wonder what they're adding. I hope they do a lot of behind the scenes. Uh, written by Jeff Johns, Jason Fabok doing the artwork as well, supplying that wonderful cover. That that dude has blown up. I mean, those Jokers look like they're mimicking the Brian Bolin era of Joker. But that's it. Now, if you're interested in purchasing these books, when they come out for pre-order, check out our sponsors. If you live in Europe and are interested in buying and pre-ordering Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC books within the EU, flat rate shipping of 12 euro for all EU countries, bulletproof packaging, and all emails will be answered within 24 hours. They offer a huge selection of out-of-print books. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And for a limited time, you can use the code NEARMINCONDITION, all one word at the checkout, to get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order of over 40 euros. Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first-time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. So those were the books in the DC solicitations for December. They have a bunch of comments so it's not like they're going anywhere like I said nine books it's not a horrible sign it's not a great sign either um, but hopefully in the next solicit we will see more DC books I love DC and it's really weird not to see even a reprint of an omnibus in a solicitation but that's it as always leave your thoughts comments down below let me know what you're excited about that absolute Batman three jokers for me, yep, while I'm not the biggest fan of the story, uh, I do love the artwork and, of course, the Milestone Compendium Volume 2. But questions, leave them down below. Smash that like button. Everyone stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. <laughs>